FL Studio is one of the most powerful DAWs. So let's be real, getting the most out of it can seem really overwhelming. If you're tired of clicking around aimlessly and want to speed up your beat making process, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you five essential workflow tips to save you time, energy, and frustration. Let's get right into it. First up, shortcuts. Unfortunately, as of right now, FL Studio does not allow you to customize the shortcuts for yourself personally. However, there is a huge list of shortcuts that can save you a ton of time. I've linked down below a form to FL Studio that shows you all the shortcuts that you need to know. One of my favorite shortcuts, Control B. This quickly duplicates patterns within the playlist, making it super easy to create full beats or patterns. If you're constantly switching between playlist, mixer, and piano roll, stop dragging your mouse and use this tip instead. F5 opens up the playlist, F6 opens up the channel rack, F7 opens up the piano roll, and F9 pulls up the mixer. Once you get used to these, you'll be flying through FL Studio like nothing. Next up, chords the easy way. Here's how to use it. Open up the piano roll, click on the stamp or the burger tool, and from here you can pick a ton of different chords. I personally like the minor nine. Once you have that, bring it out, and then you can actually put it wherever you like. Once you've done that, you can actually select all control B and just paste it over. However, however, you have to remember to select all Alt G for you to be able to actually move these notes around in the progression. This is super helpful for quickly laying down progressions without manually building each note. Melody sounding robotic. Here's how to make them feel more natural in FL Studio using the strumize tool. First, go to your chord progression, select all, and then control S. This will bring up the strumizer. Here you can play around with the strength and tension to make something that sounds right for you. Last but not least, save your own FL Studio template. Instead of starting from scratch every single time, this will save you a ton of time when you're making your beats. What I like to do is have my master preset already loaded in, so all I have to do is turn it on. And I also like to have clap already put in, a clap pattern, sorry so that I can just throw a clap on there and it's already set up for me. Of course, sometimes the clap pattern is different, but at least I have that template there. So when I'm making a melody, I can throw a clap on and see if it sounds good. Simple things like this don't seem like a big deal. It'll save you a ton of time while making beats and it's one less thing that you have to think about. Once you've figured out a template that you like, go to File, Save as Template, put in the name, then it'll save as a new template. From here, you wanna go to Options, General Settings, go to the bottom, and then change your, your new template right here. Make sure it's right there and make sure that the default template is selected as startup project. Those are five workflow hacks that'll help you produce faster and stay in the zone. Let me know in the comments which tip you found mo most useful. And if you'd like to see more tips and maybe an overview of shortcuts, let me know down below. If you found this helpful, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe and check out all of our other videos. Once again, thank you for watching and have a good day. Peace out.